folks, Mr. G again. This is part two for 7.1. Here we're going to talk about reference angles, but before we go on to talk about what a reference angle is, I want to quickly go over what a quadrant is. If we have our xy plane, it's divided into four sections. This is our first quadrant, this is our second, third, and fourth. These use Roman numerals but they just mean one, two, three, and four. This is gonna be really helpful when we're talking about reference angles, and a reference angle is the smallest angle between the terminal arm and the x-axis. These reference angles will always be between zero degrees and 90 degrees, and we define them as being positive. It might be a little bit hard to imagine what these look like. Let's do some examples together. For our angles here, I want you to draw them in standard position and then state the quadrant it is in and its reference angle. The first one here, 65 degrees, let's draw it. There we go, it's gonna be in our first quadrant here. As we can see, it's gonna be less than 90 degrees, the angle for a quarter turn. So it's gonna be in quadrant one, in short form as Q1. Now our reference angle is the shortest rotation from our terminal arm here back to the x-axis. That's gonna be 65 degrees here. This is our reference angle right here, and we're done. Our next example is going to be 140 degrees. As we know, 90 is a quarter turn, 180 is half of a turn, so it's gonna be somewhere in between, about halfway. So there's our angle in standard position. As we can see, it's in quadrant two, but our reference angle isn't 140 degrees. In fact, the shortest distance back to our x-axis is over on this side. How big is that angle? Well, we know that a total half turn is 180. If it's 140 here, this must be the remaining 40 degrees. So our reference angle is 40 degrees. Our next example features something that's bigger than 360. Anytime that you have an angle like this, it's really helpful to find a coterminal angle and use that to draw it in standard position. So when we divide by 360, we get 2.958, and we would get an angle of 345 degrees. On our axes, 345 degrees isn't quite a full turn, it's 15 degrees short here, so our terminal arm would just be a little bit shy of back to 360 degrees. Now remember, we're not drawing 345 degrees, we're drawing 1065, which is two full turns plus this. So we need to draw one full turn, two full turns, and then go all the way to our terminal arm. So your spiral should look like this. Like I mentioned before, 345 degrees is 15 degrees away from 360. And as we can see, that's gonna be our reference angle. That's the smallest angle between our terminal arm and this x-axis. And also worth mentioning, this is in quadrant four. Our last example is going to be a negative angle. This is a negative angle that's also bigger than 360 degrees. We need to find a coterminal angle. So dividing by 360, we get 1.375. If you remember from our previous video, when we're converting negative angles, we don't wanna do just one in this case, but we wanna go one larger than that. So we wanna multiply 360 by two, which would give us a coterminal angle of 225 degrees. This is positive 225 degrees, 90, 180, 275. So it's going to be somewhere in this area, probably about halfway in between. Now drawing negative 495, we're not just going straight from here in the negative direction, we're not going in the positive direction. Negative 495 would be one full turn in this direction, that's negative 360, negative 450, negative 495. Now to help us find our reference angle, remember that this is coterminal to 225 degrees. We know that a half turn is 180, so how big does this have to be to get in between the two of them? Well, it would have to be the difference here, which would be equal to 45 degrees, and we find ourselves in quadrant three. Find the smallest positive angle in each quadrant with a reference angle of 20 degrees. Here, we've got four quadrants. We know we'll have four answers. It's really helpful to draw a picture. In quadrant one, we know we're over here, and if it's got a reference angle of 20 degrees, this angle right here needs to be 20 degrees. So our answer is pretty simple. Our answer is just 20 degrees. For quadrant two, this angle right here needs to be 20 degrees. The angle that we're looking for is all the way from this starting side. So if we know that this has a total of 180 degrees for a whole half turn, this is 20, this needs to be 160 degrees. So our answer would be 160 degrees. For quadrant three, it's going to be this angle right here that's equal to 20, but we want our original angle all the way from our initial side. So if half a turn is 180 and we go an extra 20 degrees, this total angle needs to be 200. And finally, in quadrant four, this angle right here needs to be 20 degrees. An answer to this question, you might think, would be negative 20. 
This is the rotation going in the opposite direction, but we want the smallest positive angle. So negative 20 won't work. We want the angle that starts here, goes all the way around to this side. It's not quite 360 degrees, it's 20 degrees short. So our answer would be 340 degrees. An angle in quadrant two, theta, has the same reference angle as another angle in quadrant four called phi. If theta is equal to 170 degrees, what is the smallest positive value for phi? As I always suggest if you can, draw a picture. This is no exception. So quadrant two is where theta is going to be. I'll draw theta in blue in this case. We know it's equal to 170, which is just a little bit short of 180 degrees. And we know that it has a reference angle here of 10 degrees. We're told in the question that is the same reference reference angle is another angle in quadrant four. So if our other angle, phi, has the same reference angle. Phi starts at the same place theta does, but has a reference angle in quadrant four equal to 10 degrees. So what's the smallest positive value for phi? The positive value would be looping all the way from this counterclockwise until we reach here. That angle's a little bit less than 360 degrees. It's 10 degrees less than that. So phi, would be 10 degrees less than 360, which is 350 degrees. And there's your answer. That's the end of the video. At this point, you should be able to do all of the assigned homework as well as the assignment. So make sure you take a look at that, and I will see you all in the next video.